Welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. This time I'm going to explain how two or more hard drives can be linked together using a technology known as RAID. On most personal computers there is a direct relationship between each user volume and a physical disk. For example, on a Windows PC, the C drive is usually a single physical hard disk or solid state drive. On some computers, one single hard disk may be subdivided or partitioned into multiple volumes. Or alternatively, an extra hard disk may be fitted as another volume. However, in all of these instances, the data stored in each volume resides on a single drive. This makes for the easiest and cheapest hardware configuration, but it also means that if a drive fails, all of the data on its volume or volumes is likely to be lost. Data read and write speeds are also limited to the performance of a single disk. To protect against possible data loss and or to improve performance, a technology called RAID stores the data in each volume on multiple physical drives. RAID stands for Redundant Array of Independent Disks and is widely used on servers and high-end workstations. Many PC motherboards now include a RAID controller that permits two or more drives to be linked together to operate as a single storage device. For some computing activities, such as editing high-quality, high-definition video, RAID is also pretty much essential. When setting up RAID storage, a number of options are available. The first is called RAID 0. This divides or strips the data in a storage volume across two or more disks, with half of each file written to one disk and half to another. This improves overall read-write performance without sacrificing capacity. So, for example, two one terabyte drives may be linked to form a two terabyte array. Because this virtual volume is faster than either of its component disks, RAID 0 is commonly used on video editing workstations. In contrast to RAID 0, RAID 1 is primarily intended to protect data against hardware failure. Here, data is duplicated or mirrored across two or more disks. The data redundancy so created means that if one physical drive fails, there is still a complete copy of its contents on another drive. However, this does mean that drive capacity is sacrificed. For example, a 1 terabyte RAID 1 volume requires two 1 terabyte disks. While data write performance is not improved by using RAID 1, data read times are increased as multiple files can be accessed simultaneously from different physical disks. If more than two drives are used, several other configurations become possible. For example, using three or more drives, RAID 5 strikes a balance between speed and redundancy by stripping data across two drives, but also writing parity data to a third. Parity data maintains a record of the differences between the blocks of data on the other drives, in turn permitting file restoration in the event of a drive failure. Finally, in common use, RAID 10 strips and mirrors data across four or more drives to provide the gold standard in performance and redundancy. Although hard drive performance continues to improve, RAID is still an important technology for anybody building servers or high-end workstations. More information on computer storage can be found on Explaining Computers Com. But now that's it for another video, and I hope to talk to you again very soon.